Hello everybody, good evening and welcome to another edition of Andar Plays brought to you by Razor Light Entertainment. My name is Winnis Andar, it's great to be here with all of you. And today we are going to play Mercenaries of the Kingdom. So this is another demo, which is on Steam. If you like the game, wishlist it over there, show your support to the developers. Uh, the game has been developed by Insane Dreamers. Um, I'm not sure if they're an indie developer, uh, but they do have a couple of games under their belt, such as Home Wars, Age of Undead, and Gummy Dummy Battles. If you've ever played any of those, this would be their first title that I have got my hands on. It's called Mercenaries of the Kingdom. It is a party-based bullet hell type game. And the reason I'm playing this is because I was actually quite fascinated with the primary concept of this game, which is that you are not playing as one, you're playing as many. So we're going to go ahead and play this. If you like the game, wishlist it, follow it, uh, you know, like our video, like our channel, and uh, give the devs as much support as you can, because indie dev scenes are very good these days, and everybody deserves all the support and love that they can get, because they work really hard to bring us some amazing titles, and we should give them all the support that we can. Now, that being said, let's play this game and find out how much we are going to enjoy it, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. Everything is set. We have some good music as well. And uh, let's play. So the demo is very limited. I haven't seen any objectives or anything in the demo. It's basically an endless version, but the full game does... Uh, they The devs promise to have a comprehensive campaign story and stuff like that in the full game. Regardless, we're going to play the demo. The aim is to stay alive, there are no time limits, uh, buy the loot chests, hire mercenaries, which are temporary features, um, open the chest by pressing F, yeah, so you got all this. Mm, right, I think we're good, let's go ahead and do it. So the graphics are very simple, they're basically retro style pixel art, but it's very smooth, looks good. You start with like a thousand gold. I'm gonna go ahead and get some mercenaries, which is what everybody should be doing. I'm gonna spawn a bunch of loot chests as well. So once you've done that, uh, open up the loot chests. Get all the loot. Now, here's the cool part of this game. The, one of the things I love is, while you're con controlling these mercenaries, you can also equip them in formation. So you can have your casters inside the heart of the formation and the melee fighters outside it. It is your choice. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go ahead and start a diamond -y formation. With my man having a little bit of a bodyguard here, we're going to do this, and we're going to save that formation. Yeah, form one. So let's get and do that. Ideally, even if you change the form, you should be able to restore it the way you want. Yeah, well, it's kind of the way I want. It's, it's a bit topsy-turvy. It's not quite what I asked for. Hold on. Yeah, I wanted him here. Okay, we're gonna save this. Right. I'm gonna set it as default. We're gonna apply this. Yeah, uh, the orientation is a bit skewed. Regardless, it's pretty similar to exactly what I wanted, and that's fine. I like that formation system. Uh, let's go to the inventory. Uh, now, here's the cool part. I, I have no idea who is who. So I have no idea who I'm equipping what to, so the various equipment kind of do lend to a distinctiveness um, to the characters. They do impact the look of the characters. So you want to be very careful with who you give which equipment to and position them appropriately. Um, Jack Martinez is me. So I'm going to go ahead and give him magic. We're going to do a lot of magic with this guy. You're going to have some pistols. Improve your magic-y skills and your range damage. Uh, you have a wolf, but I don't have a harness for said wolf. That's okay. Yeah, okay, my fighter is the one who needs a lot of armor. I'm going to give him the pants. <coughs> 
And I'm gonna give him the major weapons. Yeah, you can actually dual wield in this game, exploit it to the maximum benefit that you can find. Uh, you can equip dual everything. I assume that will be ironed out with equipment restrictions further on down the game's development cycle. But for now, you take what you get. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got our formations here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to go out there. I'm going to get the ranged guys to hang around with each other and everything else looks good. Yeah. Let's go. The rest of it is very regular, you know. It is very regular uh, bullet hell type games. You fight the monsters, you kill the monsters, you get the gold that you need. Uh, the monsters are diverse enough. You get a uh, decent enemy variety as the game progresses along. Um, I haven't found any sort of stuttering as more and more monsters get on the screen. My PC's handled everything pretty well. And uh, the gameplay's fine. I mean, you just move up and down like regular Vampire Survivors bullet hell games. Um, depending on how fast the weapon's attack speed affects the character, they will strike uh, their enemies that fast. Um, there are a wide variety of weapons here. There we got daggers and pistols and muskets and blunderbusses and long swords and a whole bunch of stuff and lots of magic as well. As you can see by the flames roaring across the screen. As the game goes on you'll get a lot of money. So even if the gold seems a bit scarce right now, it's not really all that scarce. Uh, rushing the enemy with your, uh, you know, with your wolf or your mount doesn't seem to have any effect. I haven't seen the mounts actually doing any damage, as far as I know. Okay, so far we're hanging in there, getting lots of money. You can actually strike multiple enemies in one go, so take advantage of that to kill as many enemies as quickly as possible. Don't get delayed. If you get caught between enemies, it is entirely possible to lose a significant chunk of your health unless your DPS is very, very high. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a bunch of loot chests because why the hell not? Okay, let's get these, get rid of the short swords, they're not doing anybody any good. Right, we have a wolf, but what we got was a boar and a horse harness. I will replace the mount. The harness actually gives you extra health. Uh, it does dunk your speed a little bit, so I'm not entirely sure how well the, they work with one another, but we'll take it. Hmm... We got better armor, let's put that on. We got some pants. I do have physical armor though? Yeah, it's okay. We got some fire resistance going on. Uh, you definitely need a helmet. You need a helmet too. Go take an arm guard, a pair of pants for you. Okay, let's go get some gold.
Yeah, clean up the archers as you see them. Any projectile wielding units uh, should be killed quickly. Um, because those arrows tend to do quite a bit of damage, actually. Kill them all, get the money. So you can see that the game is fully capable of, uh, you know, planting a whole bunch of enemies on the screen in very large numbers. Okay, so if you're low on health, uh, press the E key, it opens up the inventory inside battle menu inside the game uh, battle mode but if you press tab it'll uh, pause the game and open up the character inventory sheet um, that's not what you want you want to open the in-game inventory menu or you could say the in battle inventory menu and then select a potion and click on the character that you wish and that character's health will be restored voila just like that By the way, remember to use your gold. Do not hoard it. If you hoard your gold, uh, you're the one who's going to lose. Because this whole idea, the idea in this behind this game, is to uh, get as many companions as you can and deal as much damage as you can. Because the number of enemies on screen uh, it will will keep on escalating. I haven't seen any point in this game where, you know, you're actually managing to keep the number of enemies on screen at a very low level. I haven't seen that happen. So, yeah, if you're getting uh, dunked on, um, try to find an escape. Kill a couple of them. Get away. Open up and uh, hire a couple of mercenaries. Get enough loot chests so that you can open it up and uh, get enough for everybody. Right, uh, let's equip everyone. Let's see, what do you got? Uh, fire body armor. Yeah, I'll take it. Nice two-handed sword. Uh, as far as I've seen, you can dual wield. I haven't seen any two-handed restrictions on the sword. Uh, at least, as far as I know, they haven't shown up. So I'll give you this. You got a helmet. Uh, keep your ranged fighters and your melee fighters distinctive so that you actually have some idea of who's who. Um, you could have like distinct helmets for ranged fighters and distinct helmets for uh, melee fighters. Okay, increases melee weapon skills. Uh, that's just fine. I'll give you a shield. Alright, we seem to be good. Let's keep going. We'll go into formations and check out exactly how our team is doing at the moment. Okay, so we got this formation. I'll actually start spreading you out just a little bit. So we can get a decent bit of coverage. Yeah, I want a decent bit of coverage, please. No, I want him here. Okay, good.
Okay, let's kill these guys quickly, get some money. I wish that we could actually zoom in a little bit more. Oh wow, they added the zoom feature. Okay, cool. So we can zoom in as much as we want. Uh, I recant. I thought there was no zoom feature. There's a robust zoom feature. There's actually enough zoom that you can get way into the action. That's very nice. I like good zoom features in games like this. I like to just go up close in and see exactly how my man is killing everybody. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's get more money. Yep, there's like plentiful gold. You don't have to worry about gold ever being, you know, insufficient. You will 100% get enough. Now, we're getting plenty of money here. One of our guys is taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna give him a bit of a leg up. Okay, we got plenty of gold right now. We need to start expanding. Uh, let's go and buy a couple of loot boxes. We'll hire two more mercs. Here we got some more ranged weapons. I wish we could open several loot boxes at one time and just get things over with, but uh, yeah, that's just the way it works. That's not so much a complaint as a quality feature, you know, quality of life feature. Make things a little bit faster, that sort of thinking. I love that the attack uh, animation actually continues as you move your army along. So that's actually pretty cool. Like, uh, the game doesn't wait for them to stop and take their position before it swings the weapon. So that's, that's pretty awesome. You don't actually lose any attack time, which is like very, very cool. Uh, hold on. Yep. Okay, I need to check if my recording is still working. Uh, the light actually went out, which is really weird because uh, now whenever the light goes out in my house, the battery seems to uh, take just a moment to come back on and everything flickers on and off, which is like really annoying. Yeah, you can actually see them striking as they're moving, which is like very cool. Alright, we're good. We need more loot. Please, please give me more loot. Yep. Oh yeah, look at that. Blup, 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 blup. I hope they add lots of character upgrades where we can actually pick, increase the loot range and everything. Yeah, that's why I said you never have to worry about uh, not having enough money. The game gives you a shit ton of money. Alright, let's hire a bunch more. Uh, I haven't seen, at this point in the demo, I haven't seen any reason to hold on to the money that you get. Uh, if there is in the future, that'd be great, but right now there is no reason to do that. So, yeah, just go ahead and throw your money away. Just take whatever you need. Okay, um, so we got these guys. 
Uh, let's replace some of the bows here. And a dual wielder. Yeah, he seems to be a-okay. -A uh, what is this? Weapons do fire damage. Yeah, we, we do actually do fire damage. I'll actually go ahead and give you this. Weapon attacks do fire damage. Our archer will now fire weapony stuff. Physical damage plus 20. Yeah, we'll insert that for a weapon mod. We got a fire staff. What I'm gonna do is, uh... I'm gonna give different weapons. I'm not sure whether the staffs actually stack in dual wield mode. Uh, maybe the weapons do, but I'm not sure about the staffs and the magic, whether they double cast or not. I have no idea. Um... Okay, so you have the staff. That's great. You can also have a horse. A weird helmet that might work. Inventory enhancing backpack for you. Does anyone in our uh, party actually have a shield? You do. I hope they include comparison tooltips. So, like, if you hold a shift button or something, you can compare uh, the equipment that you have right now with what you don't have. So, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, somebody's got an elk, which is, like, very cool. Yeah, we got a horse harness, which is nice. Uh, we then also have a boar harness. We don't have a wolf harness, which is which is a bit of a pain. Let me let me assure you, it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and give you guys some melee weapons. That increases our armor. Very good. Okay, you literally have exactly one dagger, which is which is not good. By any standard, let's face it. Um, we got some boots. Okay, you can actually have dual crossbows. We'll see how that works. I want to give you, like, a cloth helmet. I think that'll be better. And we have enough for one more range dude. So we can add that. Okay, so we get a bunch of ranged as well as melee units, which is very good. Okay, um, let's see. What do we have? We have a wizard. Uh, what is this all about? It's a helmet. Okay. It's a weird looking helmet, but I will accept it. Actually, dress you up as our melee god. Increase ranged skills. You got the double crossbows, right? You can keep it. Wizard's necklace. Amplifies a weapon's magical force. Uh, where's our main character? Okay, so these are duplicate items. You guys can keep this. Necklace increases his armor. Let's go ahead and give you a shield, and we'll give you this sword. Hopefully you know how to use it. You can have that helmet. Mm. Let's actually dual ranged attack. Yeah, let's do that.
Okay, things look good. And this is actually one of my gripes with the game. This game has got a very cumbersome loadout management system, which I think needs to be refined a little bit so that we can load out shit faster. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, formations. Uh, where are our ranged people? Now, this is where things can get a little bit hard. It is difficult to find out exactly who and where everybody is. Um, okay, these guys are melee. Okay, you're a crossbow. So, uh, ranged units stay close. Everybody else can just, you know, spread out a little bit. Okay, they need to look at the cursor as well. Like, when you move quickly, it's like the mouse basically loses control of the character as it goes on. Okay, let's save this, and uh, yeah. Okay, that should keep our ranged characters out of the way, so I thought, but this is like a crazy melee, man. Okay, let's extricate ourselves just a little bit. Yeah, get some more loot. Loot is the spice of life. Okay, uh, we got a gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace your uh, bow with a gun. <sighs> well, according to this, uh, yeah, it's a small firearm. It's got a higher rate of attack than the bow, but the bow is markedly powerful. Okay. If you say so. I'll give you a two-handed sword, because why the hell not? And I have a solid helmet. Okay, so you're dual wielding as well, which is very good. Uh, got a musket. Somebody need a musket? Yeah, let's see you work with that. I don't know how effective it's gonna be, but um, I'll trust you. Your rate of attack is 1.4, yours is 1.5. Right, uh, I'm not gonna bother too much. Uh, you got a dual hander. I'm not even sure whether why this is not restricted. If I'm using a two-handed sword, I shouldn't be able to block with a shield. I feel like that's something that has to be addressed in the game uh, in the future. Yeah! So far, the gameplay is pretty smooth. Uh, I haven't seen any problems as such. Um, the one, my major gripe with this game is the inventory loadout. You spend a lot of time in the inventory once you spawn some chests to pick up stuff. I hope that the loadout can be like uh, automated sometimes with like preset buttons, like best melee gear or best ranged gear can be auto equipped with the click of a button. And that would be really, really good. I also feel like there should be a way to apply general healing instead of, you know, clicking and uh, dragging a potion to the injured. 
Yeah, sometimes it is hard to see exactly who's injured and by how much and, you know, exactly when you want to get that potion in. So I, I, I do hope they make that easier in the future. The good points of this game, the highlight of this game is definitely how smooth the entire party works. And according to the game, you can have like 50 uh, party members, which is which is pretty incredible. Like that, that gives you like a Lord of the Rings, you know, large scale style battle that you would like to see. So I hope uh, as the game develops further, the enemies will be more varied and will be aggressive at different skills and so will our own party members. And it would be pretty amazing to see uh, 60 on 60 or 60 on 205 um, taking place over a huge battlefield, you know? Alright, uh, let's hire a few more people. Yep, that makes like 20 mercenaries, which would be pretty good. And uh, let's open up a couple of chests. Yeah, so this is where I'd like to automate the entire menu system so that, you know, uh, things get done a lot faster. Now, one of us had an elf, right? Somebody here had an elf. Yeah, you do. Here. Oh, we got a two-hander. Uh, somebody had a wolf, right? There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd like you to be a bowman. Okay, one of you can use a blunderbuss. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, I love the magic effects. The special effects are pretty damn solid in the game so far. Very, very nice. Um, let's see. Okay, you can have this hood. You can have a nice helmet. Yeah, all you melee guys need, like, nice helmets. Yeah, a lot of this could just be automated, I feel. You know, like, best melee equipment, best ranged equipment, and you just tweak it as you need, uh, would actually be a lot better than what we have right this moment. Which is a lot of clicking, and I think that's a bit unnecessary, and takes away from the fun of the game.
tell you what, these monsters are relentless. Very good. Okay, you know what? We did we did pretty well uh, so far. I'm gonna go ahead and give you. I wanted to give this guy. Hold on, where is he? Okay, he's got his health back. I wish there was a way to, like, give the potions automatically to the characters who have the lowest health or the highest health. That sort of a sorting option would actually be very nice. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and hire as many mercenaries as we can. Get that count up so I can show you guys exactly how well the game handles. Okay, we got we got quite a few um, we got quite a bit of gold, so I'm gonna go ahead and start hitting the recruit button. Okay, almost there. So we now have 50 out of 50 people. You can actually see this here. So now what you can do is uh, focus entirely all your efforts on you know getting lots of equipment. You can see you can see your entire uh, squadron engaging the enemy, destroying the enemy. Look at that! Look at him burn, baby! Look at that burn! Yeah. So the one problem for me again is this inventory management. I feel like managing the equipment loadouts for fifty different characters is going to be really, really hard. At the same time, it does provide uh, the chance to customize their looks uh, to make them unique and stand out for easier formations, uh, formation handling. And I also hope that they do include sort buttons like melee auto-equip, ranged auto-equip, sort weapons according to its type, etc, etc. I think those kind of moves would be like very, very helpful. So we've actually ended up killing 8,700 monsters. You can see that um, over here, displayed in the kill count. And I've survived about 19 minutes, which is very good. There you go. Look at that army. Now let's go ahead and spawn a shitload of chests on the ground. Now this is a bad idea. You're actually better off spawning only a few chests at a time because some chests get lost in transit and it's a, they're, they're very hard to find, especially when they're snuck, you know, uh, when they're stashed one below another or there's overlapping uh, pixels and stuff. But there you go, you know, you can spawn so many chests, you can get so much loot and the money drops insane.
Yeah, but that's how this game plays. That is the game. And I've enjoyed it quite a bit. It is Mercenaries of the Kingdom. I hope you guys like it. I love the gameplay. I love how smooth it is. I like the clean graphics. Um, I like the fact that you can control 50 mercenaries. I like the fact that you can summon chests as and when you want. Get loot out of them. Get out your entire party. What I would like to see, um, along with all the features that the devs have planned and promised, is the ability to quickly get out characters with basic ranged and melee equipment without having to click so much in the inventory menu um i would like to also see power-ups uh, for getting the gold faster or picking up equipment faster um i would like to be able to open multiple chests at once or maybe if you buy five or ten chests they come together to become a mega chest things like that would be really good i look forward to the story mode of this campaign and different quests and npcs that we can interact with uh, on the map that's not in the demo but i hope that will be included in subsequent updates and so far the game plays really really well i've enjoyed it i've played it for a couple of hours now and i think i will be wishlisting it but what you guys are gonna do only you can determine like the video subscribe to our channel um follow the devs on discord uh, so wishlist the game support it on steam and i will see you guys next time this has been mercenaries of the kingdom and my name is Winner Sandar. This show has been brought to you by Razor Light and Women. I will see you all next time.